your users are part of your feedback loop okay so we'll see that happening in action in this you know project where we're working on a low cost vein tracer what's a vein tracer any clue when you go for a blood donation and you know they want to take blood from your veins they need to do multiple pricks and it's quite painful then the average attempts in a child is 2.35 which is pretty high so who are the target users here the target users are the doctors and the caregivers and the secondary users here are the people <coughs> now let us know what are the methods of understanding your user you have to be in the location where the problem is happening while it is happening and conduct an inquiry to understand the problem at hand understand their socio cultural aspects understand their livelihoods because all those are very very important for your design intervention so for example you know in our context of a blood bank you have to be in the blood donation camp itself continuously for a couple of uh, days to understand what happens so what is important over here is what do you think is the output mechanisms for all this what should be the output of these studies any any guess for example the experience mapping what should be the output of this uh, study what will you use as a resource to take back home after doing the study time motion analysis video footages and there are special softwares to even map these videos on to exactly tell you what's happening at when and every area has got deep research knowledge there are thousands and thousands of researchers working on every user you know uh, like uh, technique which i just mentioned to you now we'll see in this particular vein tracer where my student trivikram started this work how did we go about i'll quickly explain to you and now you all know the first value of death what happens when a student makes a mock up and you know does a user testing you take it forward make a working prototype and then go on test with users it's cross the first valley and it's at the prototype stage after the prototype stage you take it forward and produce a pilot production produce more number because you need to test with more number of users then you reach the mass production where you can you know implement large scale and you cross the third valley of death of the idea there's that serious why are you using such a strong word like death because it's you know we start with so much passion and finally it doesn't reach the market and if it doesn't reach the market if it doesn't reach the user the seventh c doesn't work and it's no longer innovative you can all say oh it was an innovative idea oh it was an innovative product oh it was an innovative mock up model but even using the word innovative is wrong over there according to me innovative research innovative technology all these you are hearing as of no use till it doesn't reach the people at large okay so here i want to tell you this uh, story of uh, rivikram who took a course under me called collaborative innovation in the electric the whole class was sent to blood banks all over bombay to find out what are the problems blood banks are facing so they came up with a number of problems rivikram said you know it's interesting the people are come to coming to donate blood and they are going through pain which was not acceptable to him so he he took that as his cause he said i am going to solve this problem so from there he went ahead and he studied what all is happening at the blood donation camps through vikram said i am going to look at the vein tracer so then they studied in detail what's happening to the vein you know they're not able to find then what they do the very interesting the student is digressing right he went to a blood bank and now he's checking everybody who is going for a blood test and who is going for a hospital so all this is a hospital work why am i going to a hospital to check what's happening there with uh, blood testing uh, mechanisms what will i learn from there very good new ideas new ways new methods new problems and then what is the mistake you get carried away in your design process so you found out where all you know it's critical he did all data collection and found out that if you use infrared uh, leds the deoxygenated blood veins are visible like dark lines and then he developed a number of ideas first he said i will like to have these infrared light on the syringe itself think then he said no no that's not going to work because this has to come in close contact with the skin okay so that the light can enter inside so he said that's not possible put this infrared leds uh, you know on the skin so that your veins can be seen through the skin 
and then you take all the ideas together and develop concepts. How many concepts should be developed? Minimum three, which are different from each other. What happens when you develop multiple concepts for the same problem? You reduce the chance of failure. If you just develop one and it fails, you won't be able to analyze it, whether it is correct or not. In this idea, oh, he said like, I need a rest on the arm, so can I have a rest? You just ask your friends to be, your, put that on them and try. This is a very important creative journey. A number of times we don't do this. So this is a very, very critical and very important in your concept creative development. So then you come up again with some more options. You say what all we can do. Then you build something called the mock-up. Before you build the mock-up, this student also built something called a working rig. He went to Lamington Road in Bombay. He picked up all these LEDs. So he rigged up a circuit and he found out which directions to the circuit should be used so that you can actually see the veins more clearly. We are now at the first value of death and then his project got over. So we built a team around this. We hired designers who are experienced in the industry. We hired consultants who are experienced in working in LED industry, right? That also part of my research where we found out that you need to hire specific technology consultants into your project. We hired all those people and we started work. Then what happened? We have just at the first value of death, right? To cross the value of death, what do we need to do? Working prototype. Working prototype means it's exactly the same size we thought of and it also works without all the tooling. Thanks to new technologies of PCB manufacturing, new technologies of 3D printing. Now in this area, it's very interesting. Remember the value of death where we clearly said that you need to now collaborate with small manufacturers or small R&D organizations to build your prototype because that's very critical now. Then our consultant told us very important aspects of safety, uh, uh, charging circuits, how you, you see all those mobile phones, um, uh, you know, sort of uh, exploding, right? These are products for the medical area and you have to be very safe. So you develop the circuits now, you bring in the experts in the area of circuit manufacturing, PCB manufacturing, and now this goes to a very, very professional journey and you come up with a prototype. Once the prototype is there, you again go for user testing. And then we found out thousand more new problems. You worked so hard, came out of the valley of death by climbing all those stairs, by having consultants, and finally you land up square. But then you said you did all those studies earlier with mock-up models, why it didn't work? But that's not a working prototype. So here you can see how you are always taken back after you do the user studies. That's so important in the early design phase, okay? So here we did the testing. We found out all the problems and now we need to launch our pilot and the whole design now has to go back to the drawing board, go back to conception, again build three concepts and come back to the production because you are not lost much because you just made one prototype. So how can this vein tracer be more easy to hold? How can it be smaller, multiple thermal mockups, same process. We'll go out in the field, check out with caregivers, check out with nurses, check out in the hospitals which form will work, which is convenient to hold. So we have to marry the you know, designs. We, you know, we modified the PCB because now the design was ready. So the PCB had to be just reconfigured and then build the CAD models thanks to the support of this small industry in Bangalore. Then we have new techniques of painting which makes the product strong. And then we came up with a very important aspect of what should be the battery life and whatever battery to use. We'll use a battery which is you know, long lasting, a battery which is available very openly and very easily and very low cost. So we use this battery, maybe if you don't charge it, it works for around two to three days and made this pilot production of 10 uh, vein tracers. And then we again went for testing. We still came up with some more problems. So whenever you do use the testing, you will come up with problems. But now interestingly, we were digressing our whole focus. Our cause was to, you know, design a vein tracer for Blood bank so that people who come to donate blood don't get, you know, scared and things like that. And now when you're doing a testing, we said, oh, this product is good. Now it can go to multiple places. And when that happens, you'll find out that there are requirements are different. The intensity requirement is different. You need more intensity when you do the uh, vein tracer for the anesthesia. So we said, no problem. This product we have to mass produce. So let us, you know, let us do those changes. 
see, I'm not saying that we're always correct. We do, a, we made a lot of mistakes in this uh, process, and you need to identify our mistakes too, and say, you know, what we should do and what we should not do. So we did all that. And then finally, you know, we uh, uh, went to various hospitals in Pune. Luckily, now we collaborated with a person who supplies chemicals to blood banks. Then when we went back to the PCB design, we changed the intensities, we looked at the locations, and then very interesting, infrared is what? Heat, right? So the, our first LEDs were actually, if you keep for more than 30 seconds, it would actually give a little pain. Rather removing pain, you are giving pain, <laughs> right? So we had to relook at the heat transfer in the PCB. So then we need to look at, uh, you know, transmittivity. Then we put up some filters in the middle. Then we had to have heat sinks. See how complex the product becomes once you go forward. The students said, simple, infrared, it can give you light. I throw infrared from the top, I can see the vein. And finally we reach a stage, which is our, you know, third value of death. We have finished the pilot and we now have to launch it and we are stuck with numerous issues which need to be solved. So finally we made multiple units, we made multiple sets of PCBs with different different intensities. Uh, acrylic has this property of piping light. So we used acrylic uh, buttons between the LED and the human skin so that heat doesn't pass on to your skin. Now look at the convenience. Look at the form, look at the holding, how easy it is to hold, how you know convenient it is to do. So what are the learnings from our you know, first C? We said we're going to do a you know, thorough user feedback. You have seen that there is a user feedback and suggestions and improvements at every stage of your design development. Let it be a mock-up, let it be a rig, let it be a working prototype, let it be a pilot production. You can have constant input so your product can come up in a very, very good way. So you bring in synergistic R&D and prototype manufacturing in the team. Right, we did that. We got the best PCB manufacturers from Bangalore to work with us. And now the same team is actually ready to do the tooling and manufacturing and identify a manufacturer who will manufacture and supply to us and we will find a distributor to distribute it all over the country or all over the world. We started with blood bank, then we improved the context to blood testing. So we kept moving and then we finalized, after our user study, we noticed that we just can't service everybody. We were actually good with 60% of the total user segment in this area. So similarly, we are attempting to 60 to 70% of the market. It's a big thing. It's a great startup idea. So now let me show you another very interesting thing. So while we were in all this journey, it came into papers saying that IIT Bombay students working on real problems in the hospitals and solving the problems of pain for wean tracing, all blah, blah, very good articles. KEM doctors who are in the pediatric ward have the severe pain of not finding the vein of babies when they are under operations. They frantically trying to reach me. They said, you put this in the paper, we want this product now. Because our baby's hands are very delicate, we just not able to trace their veins because they are always very transparent. So they said, you need to do something for us. Then I put one student on the job. So this student went and he did all the study, we went to the KEM hospital, came back and he designed this very innovative product. But didn't use the synergy of our existing design. What was the synergy in our existing design? We had already the PCB done. This man again went to the Lamington Road, bought all the LEDs, did all the tests again. And I said, you use all the knowledge available. And then he finally made a mock-up model. So again, made us reach the first value of death. Then interesting thing happened. A colleague of mine from you know, biosciences said that his nephew wants to come for internship. The product design student, then he came in and I told him, will you like to work on the vein tracer for small babies? And he came up with the creative analogies of what type of shape it should be. Then, you know, I had to put my foot down and said, you have to use my existing PCB and take it to test immediately. So we, he, he developed this very, very fine, small unit. We did the complete process and we then built a rig using the PCB which we already had, which was having less intensity. Because you remember we made multiple PCBs with different intensities of LEDs. 
Doctors in KEM hospital are very, very busy. They just can't give you time whenever you want. He followed up regularly with them and went to the operation table to check how it will work. And then we got very, very valuable feedback from the doctor. So we got that input and now we are making the pilot production so that we can give a couple of units to KEM hospital. So we are still working on this uh, uh, vein tracer for KEM hospital, which is now in which value of death? Second value of death. death. And our main vein tracer is in which value of death? Third. We are not going to be successful if we don't build teams, collaborate with industry, make a startup out of it, go and leverage uh, clients who are in this business, who are ready to diversify into manufacturing, do technology transfer to large companies and all who are into medical products.